now we're just uh, using uh, the vertical angle theorem here for number two to solve for uh, different angle measures. So we're applying it. So um, if we look at our, our uh, example here, the diagram shows a how glass lenses change the direction of light rays passing through a telescope. We want to know what the value of x is. Uh, the angle x is the angle formed by the uh, by the crossed outermost light rays through the focal point. So basically, we have two lines intersecting here. So these angles here are going to be vertical angles. We know that vertical angles are congruent. We know each of these small ones here is 11 degrees, so the whole thing is going to be 11 plus 11, which is 22. And since vertical angles are congruent, we know that x is going to be equal to 22 degrees. All right? To help you out a little bit with your first try it, okay? Again, we have vertical angles here, right? We have two lines intersecting, so they're forming vertical angles on each side. So in this case, your two vertical angles are congruent, so that means their measures are equal. So you're going to say 6x minus 45. It's going to equal whatever that was that I covered up. 4x plus 5. All right, 4x plus 5. Okay, and then you got to solve for x. So when you're applying, it's pretty easy to apply. Uh, it's basically you have an x and then opposite sides of that x you're setting equal to each other.